for more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Women's groups and progressive sections are continuing to hold massive protests across Poland against the anti-abortion ruling by the country's constitutional court. This has forced the conservative government led by the Law and Justice Party, which is the PIS, to delay the implementation of the verdict, which was otherwise supposed to go in effect from November 2nd. Under popular pressure, President Andrzej Duda has proposed certain dilutions to the ruling. Prime Minister Mateusz Morawiecki has also stated his willingness for discussions with the protesters and the opposition MPs before implementing the ruling. Under the instigation of the government, the Polish Constitutional Court had ruled on October 22nd that abortions in the case of fetal defects are unconstitutional. The ruling modified the 1993 law on abortion, which states that pregnancy termination is only permitted in cases of rape and incest, in cases where the pregnancy poses a risk to the woman's health, and in case of fetal defects. However, even before this ruling, Poland had one of the strictest legislations on abortion access in the region. This forces between 100,000 to 150,000 women to travel abroad every year for the procedure. The court's decision will further limit access to this fundamental reproductive right. Since the ruling women's rights groups, including the National Women's Strike, the Polish left Lujka Razem and other liberal sections have been protesting across the country. According to reports, over 100,000 people demonstrated in Warsaw on October 30th, condemning the anti-women verdict. The National Women's Strike has alleged that several of its activists have been intimidated by the police for organizing the protests. Supporters of the right-wing PIS have also tried to disrupt rallies against the anti-abortion verdict at various places. The struggles following the recent judgment are only the latest wave of a decades-long movement. The struggle began in 1993 amid a moment of great upheaval and chaos in Poland, which was undergoing the transition to a neoliberal capitalist society. The government at the time was led by Solidarnosc or Solidarity. The church had been a key ally of Solidarnosc during the 1980s when it was opposing the communist government. The new government which came to power after the fall of communism repaid the support by implementing policies and laws in line with the church's conservative stance. So despite widespread opposition and a petition with over 1 million signatures, in 1993 the government changed the legislation regarding abortion which had been legal under the communist government. The 1993 legislation only allowed for voluntary termination of pregnancy in cases of incest, rape, threat to the mother's health and fetal defects. And now the provision for fetal defects has been removed as an exception. The incursion into the private sphere of Polish women and to society as a whole by the church and their allies has gotten progressively worse, especially after the hard right PIS government came to power in 2015. The PIS and its allies have received international backing as well. According to an investigation published by Open Democracy, US President Donald Trump's personal lawyer Jay Sekulow and the American Center for Law and Justice played an active role in supporting the court's anti-abortion ruling. The Constitutional Court's ruling to restrict abortion is part of a larger conservative onslaught in Poland led by the PIS. However, all such efforts have been met with resistance on the streets and in Parliament. Lujka Razem, for example, remains committed to fighting for a vision of Poland for everyone. The left party, along with the organization Women's Strike and dozens of others, has vowed to remain on the streets to resist this latest conservative attack. Yeah, I'm